Hello, your tech admin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft in Ubuntu. Now, if you know anything about how Minecraft works and how Linux works and all that, if you're, I wouldn't say more advanced, but if you know well enough how these things work, you're obviously thinking that Minecraft doesn't need an installation. Well, you're right, it doesn't. It's a jar file, you can just run it straight from the jar file on the desktop, it'll work fine. But basically, I'm just going to be showing uh, newer users, users that don't know what they're doing, basically, how to get Minecraft running and how to create a launcher so it's not just some ugly jar file sitting on their desktop. Um, so that's basically what this tutorial is about. It's not really an advanced tutorial. It's a simple tutorial for our new users. So basically, the first thing we're going to do is obviously download the jar file. I'm going to go to Minecraft.net. Alright, you're going to need to have already bought the game. I'm not going to be showing you how to get this game for free. If you want to play this game, support Notch and all the developers and just buy it. It's only like $20. So log in. And then down here, go to download. Under Linux Other, select the Minecraft.jar file. Save it. Open the folder. Alright, we're going to keep Firefox open. We're going to need it again in a minute. Okay, so first thing we're going to need to do is set this jar files an executable. That can easily be accomplished by right clicking on the property, right clicking on the file and going to properties and then just checking allow executing files program. Next, we're going to set the uh, file to open with the open JDK or the uh, sun JDK so that it'll run with the proper program. By default, it's going to try to open with the archive manager. We don't want that. We're going to go to open with other application, scroll down to the application we want. For most users, it's going to be open JDK Java 6, but if you installed the Sun Java, you're going to want to use that. Uh, it works just fine on both of them. That, As far as I can tell, I've used the open JDK and uh, Sun's JDK to run it, and um, I haven't noticed any performance differences. It runs just fine on both. So if you don't have Sun JDK, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. And if you do have issues, go ahead and install it. There's plenty of uh, tutorials. It's not very hard to... Uh, install. So we're gonna go to open with that. Should open the application just fine. We're gonna log in. If I can tape, type right today. Alright, we're gonna log in and it's gonna start downloading all the uh, files to our folder, which is what we want. Alright, once you get to the screen, you can go ahead and close Minecraft. Next, we're gonna copy this file. Go to our home folder, press Control and H to show you the hidden files and folders. Uh, we're going to scroll down to .minecraft, and you should see a bunch of files in here. That's good. We're going to right-click and paste the jar in there. Next, we're going to need to get an icon for the jar file, uh, which is what we're going to need Firefox for. Go ahead and uh, go to Google Images or something similar, and just type uh, Minecraft icon PNG. Um find an icon that looks good. Say so this one looks pretty good. We're going to save image as oh it's a JPEG. We need a PNG. That one's not going to work. Uh, try this one. This one looks pretty neat. Alright. Right click um, save image as uh, and we're going to save it in the uh, Minecraft folder. Alright. That'll do. Now we can close mine um, Firefox. Perfect. Now it's time to create the launcher. So anywhere on the desktop, right click and go to create launcher. Keep the type as application. Name it Minecraft. Obviously. Um, the command, we're going to browse going to go to dot minecraft and select the jar file hit open then in front of this now this is important because if you don't do this part it's not going to work you're going to type java space dash jar space make sure there's another space between the dot the uh, dash jar and uh, the file location then down here we're just going to create a comment um, right here we're going to click on this and we're going to browse where we saved our icon at. And 
and there you go that's your minecraft launcher double click it and minecraft should open just like that now if you want this to be in the games um, menu it's going to be basically the same process so if you're going to right click on the menu and hit edit menus you're going to go down to games and then you're going to click new item and then you're basically just going to do the same thing you did for the uh, launcher on the desktop and then once you get all that done you're going to hit ok and then close this and it'll show up wherever you told it to show up at which is either under games or wherever you created the launcher for it so that's pretty simple. Now a um, second little tip, I'm going to show you how to install a texture pack. Just a little extra goodie for you guys. Uh, the first result should be the official uh, Minecraft form post with all the uh, texture packs on them. I'd say look here first because there's a huge listing of texture packs here. I uh, will find one. It looks good. Questcraft. That one looks interesting. We'll we'll check this one out. Looks pretty good. We're gonna scroll down and find the download. There we go. Now you're gonna want to make sure it's a dot zip because usually some of the other uh, texture packs that cre people have created, they've either created them specifically for Windows. Or specifically for Mac, um, you can get these working on Linux, but it'll require some some know-how to do so. So we're just going to stick to the ones that say .zip for simplicity, because these are usually the ones that are they don't require like the HD patch and all that. I'll, I might do a video later showing how to put the HD patch in Linux and that good stuff, so you can run those better looking, those fancy looking textures. I'm going to extract this to make sure it's the um, the right sort of files. If you extract it and you get something like a bunch of orders like armor, environment, font, and all that, then that means it's good. It'll work. I'm going to name it something simpler, though. Because this is just a mess of a title. Quest Craft. Alright, basically you're just going to copy this, or cut it, whatever, and put it in your in your dot minecraft folder in the texture packs folder very simple just paste that right in there keep it as a dot zip file don't extract it then you're gonna open minecraft log in then down here under mods and texture packs you're gonna click that and select your uh, texture pack you should immediately see the UI change and uh, we'll just um, Log into a single player world here and check it out. So here you go. And the texture pack looks to be working quite fine. Oops, did I do that? Anyway, um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Um, hope uh, I hope I helped you in some way. And if you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment under the video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.